We want children to love to read. We want them to have fun. Reading should be about laughter and tears and arguing about meanings and being shocked. You know, I've just been reading Great Expectations with my students. And when the kids figure out that Miss Havisham is not the benefactor and that it's Magwitch, the gasp in the classroom, how do you measure that gasp on a standardized test? And the looks and the eyes opening up, and oh my God. And then watching them relate Pip's expectations to their own expectations in their lives. This is what reading is supposed to be. The skills they're getting from reading with an expert, they're learning enormous amounts of language. They become better listeners, better speakers, better writers, better communicators. And in our world, which is becoming so superficial, where we always seem to be aiming for the lowest common denominator, by reading great works of literature with a teacher, we raise the bar. It's just that simple. I want to give you the classic problem with education. This is my favorite story of the last year. You can't make this stuff up. I had a student named Angie, a wonderful student. She's an eighth grader now. She is in an honors program in her local middle school. This is supposed to be the good students. And one day, her teacher came out and said, we're reading Romeo and Juliet. Most of the class groaned, of course, as American children will, but Angie was excited. And then the teacher took out comic books. And Angie said, what's that? And he said, this is Romeo and Juliet. And Angie said, no, that's not Romeo and Juliet. I've read Romeo and Juliet in the fifth grade. That's not it. And he said, well, it's a different version. And Angie said, why would we read a different version? Let's read Shakespeare. And the teacher said, well, the students won't understand. And Angie said, then why don't you explain it? That's your job. She was kicked out of class. The teacher would not let her back in. And she was transferred to another classroom. I applaud Angie. She challenged her teacher, do your job. A good teacher is a professional explainer. I'm not smarter than the kids. I just know more than they know. And I'm good at explaining language and nuance to them. I'm sorry to say that story is typical. It is not the exception, it's the rule. That because of a variety of difficult factors, most teachers have e are either not competent to teach reading, or they may have been once, but they're so tired, and the system has so beaten them down that they've given up. 